Hey everybody, it's Dan, your friendly fishmonger at dancefish.com. We have a little unboxing today. I want to show you some fish that we got in. All right. Those are still warm, which is a good sign. Let's see how we're doing temperature wise. Oh, I don't like all the plastic. 72, so not hot, but warm enough. All right, the first thing is snails. We'll show you those later. Those are yellow pumpkin snails. You're not gonna be able to see anything through those bags though, so. Okay, here we go. Bunch of CPDs. We have a pretty good supplier for these. Um, I haven't yet found a supplier that's like, does it perfectly though. We'll still need to medicate because they do come in with a parasite, but they're better than most. Tiny Acara Candidi, beautiful little spade-tail dwarf cichlid, kind of like an Apisto. More CPDs. We tend to bring in a whole lot of CPDs because that's one of the fish we've kind of figured out. We finally found a decent supplier for, and so, uh, they're one of the fish we're most known for. This is, this is funny. Let me show you this. So, okay. 109, right? Because you can see the pink stripe. That one's what? That's not 95. 102. And then this one, it's like 89. I don't know what this is even doing here. There's like no heat coming out of it. Got to be able to see the pink striper or nothing happens. Okay. Yeah, cooler than I would have thought. That was 70. Why won't you stay? It's on Celsius now. That might be why. <laughs> Could you give me the other one? This one's acting up. Keep switching to Celsius. That is right. 71.6. So that's colder than I would have thought today. It's very mild out, but it's still not bad. Here are what I believe are a bunch of Romino's Rasbora. No color in the bag, but. You concur? Fireline Danio. Oh, these are the Fireline Danio. Yeah, yeah. Fireline Danio. Maybe. I think that's, I think you're right. Here's more of them. But what's important here is like, what I like about this supplier is nothing's overpacked. There's a lot of negative space in there. There's a lot of water that doesn't have fish in it and the water's pretty clear. So that's what I really like about this supplier. All right, these are more of the neon lyre tail guppies. We're running low on them. We sell a whole lot of those, so thought I'd better bring more in. Hey, let me show this too. So once again, just look at that, not overcrowded. Usually you bring guppies in, you can't even see through the water. There's so many guppies in the bag. So I love how lightly they pack. It's so much better for the fish. This is a small one. There's only five boxes today. So we're already over halfway through, which is kind of crazy. Yeah, 70 degrees, a little chilly, but not bad. Okay, here are some of the platinum half beaks. I love this little fish. It's a, it's a surface dweller and it doesn't get big. So if you want the surface area of your nano tank to have a neat fish in it, these guys are amazing. 
and they look like little alligator gars. They're like a platinum color, like a bright, shiny white platinum. And when you look at them from the top, it's like a miniature alligator gar in your tank. Here's more of the tiny Acara Candidi. But again, look at that. There's like maybe 20 fish in that entire bag, which is awesome. Oh man, this is a heavy one. Too bad we didn't get that out here. Oh, <laughs> me trying to lift a box. Yeah, my powerlifting days are over. I, uh, I fell asleep on a big bean bag yesterday in, in our house's playroom. And uh, yeah, I'm too old for that. My back is kind of killing me today. <laughs> too old to be sleeping on a bean bag. Yeah, 70 degrees. So that's fine, but that's barely fine. Like that's, that's flirting with the edge. Oh, here is a new species of coolie loach. They remind me, this is gonna sound strange. They remind me of Fundalopanchax emiatae because they have like an orange belly and then an olive top. I'm excited about those. That's our first time ever seeing those. Here's more of them. Like a shimmery, you know the neon coolie loach? It's kind of like that, but, but I think it's better looking because of that nice contrast between the dorsal and the um, bottom surface of the fish. Okay. These look good. This is Nanostomus equus. Again, very lightly packed. There's not a ton, a ton of fish in there. I see, a, see one down. I think I only see one down in that bag. Yeah. Same thing, they look really good. They're not overcrowded. I don't think there's any dead in here. Yeah, great. Same thing, one down. Yeah, one down in that bag, but the rest upon very brief inspection look good. No problems in that bag, so that's pretty cool. So out of, I don't know, 400, it looks like maybe there were two down. You want it to be zero, but if you're gonna have any losses, that's a pretty good ratio. All right, always have to give Johnny a laugh. by lifting the big boxes. I want to imagine in front of the boxes so you can see the awkward lift. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's all right. I tease Johnny enough that I deserve anything he gives back to me. That's the honest truth. Okay. Last box. So quick. We're used to being here for like hours, so this is so quick. Yeah, it's cold. 69.6. The heat packs are warm. There's just not enough of them. There's only four in there. And like, they're not bad. They feel okay. 111. You know, that's not bad, but it's still Wyoming. It's still kind of chilly. Woo, look at those clam plecos. Yes. Look how nice and clear the water is. Look at the bellies. Okay, can you see that? Look how nice their bellies look. These are not emaciated, like abused fish. Those look great. Ooh, that's a nice one too. This is the L201, the Snowball Pleco. I'm very, very happy with these. Those look amazing. Now, we're totally gonna have to deworm these Plecos because even though they've been fed well and they're fat and stuff, they're gonna have worms. That's just par for the chorus when you're dealing with wild plecos. But they look good. Neon green, what is it called? Green neon tetra? Yeah, the green neon tetra, not neon green tetra. Green neon tetra. 
Looks like a good little group of them. So far, it's a little bit cold, but everything seems to be in pretty good shape. So I think things are gonna pull through just fine. Another bag of green neons. There's none down. Like there's a big clump at the bottom and that's because they're all swimming towards the bottom. Like they're in the fishing net in Nemo, in Finding Nemo. Swim down, swim down! More clown plecos. Nice clear water. Oh, that makes me so happy. They did a good job. Did a great job. More clown plecos. We've been out of these for a little while, so I ordered quite a few. And what could it be? More clown plecos. That's right. Behind door number one, two, three, four, and five are clown plecos. Um, all right, so that's it. Short and sweet, but um, besides being just a little cool and not, not so cold that we're going to have problems, I don't think. I think they did an excellent job. Um, it's just, it's always colder in Wyoming than anyone outside of Wyoming thinks. <laughs> so I think they don't put enough heat in sometimes because it's like, well, it's warm here. Anyway, we're gonna go take care of these fish. Um, I wanna thank everyone that's a customer. Thanks so much for keeping us in business. We love being able to do what we love to do every day for work. It's just an amazing life. So thanks for all your support. Everyone that's a member of the channel, Hello, all hail the fishmonger crew. And I think that's it. Until next time, have a good one. Bye-bye.